most anticipated releases um they're not gonna be any any particular order and it's been a while since i put a lot of these on the list so i don't remember what half of them are about so just be prepared for a long video so grab your snacks your drinks whatever you want to do and buckle up and let me know at the end of the video if there's any of these that you are already anticipating or that you didn't know about and sounds interesting to you and let me know what some of your most anticipated reads are for August and if you're new to my channel hi and welcome and I hope you subscribe and I hope you comment and that you hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure and let's get started okay the first one is how we fell apart by Katie Kaho? Kaho? I don't know how you say it. Z H A O. But this is the cover. Since I don't know how to put them on the thing there. <laughs> I'll just show it to you. This comes out like the middle. Yeah, August 17th. This is a board like a board in school and people go missing. And then they die. And then a best friend goes missing and then dies. Or ex best friend goes missing and dies. And then her, this girl, Nancy, and some of her friends are being accused by this person called, that goes by the pro pro Proctor? Yeah, Proctor. Um, yeah, they're being accused that, she, that they're the ones that did it. And it gives me the um, Ace of Spades kind of vibe too, but it doesn't say that. It says, crazy rich Asians meet one of us is lying. And it's elite prep school. Like I said, that comes out on the 17th from Bloomsbury Young. And then we got On These Black Sands by Vanessa Ran Ransini? 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 I don't know. This one's also going to be on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can, like I do, you can always get that thing. But usually I buy mine anyways because I like to annotate. But I'm not sure. This one comes out, I believe, the 10th. Yes, the 10th according to this. It says, an heir on the run. In one month. Ooh, I don't know how you say this name. It's A-O-I-F-E. Cas Cascade will turn 20 and take her seat on the Council of Crag Craga? Something like that. An honor she's been preparing for her whole life, but when she lets a secret slip to her mother with devastating consequences, all her plans for the future crumble. Believing her people to be to be better off without her, she flees Caragon, Craigon, something like that, stowing away aboard a pirate ship bound for the for dangerous waters. Says a pirate captain who needs her help, Captain Dalkin Mick. Call it some of that is young compared to the pirate lords, but after 12 years on the grueling sea, his I mean, he's, he has earned a well respected ship and attention of the lords who like nothing better than to see to see his rooms. All he wants is to leave that Asseline, Asseline, some of that sea and his past behind him. But when his sister demands, he finds the exchange. I mean, the enchanted dagger her rebel faction needs to overthrow the ruling council. He'll have to decide whether to cast off all family ties or take the perilous voyage to waters guarded by sirens, only passable with the help of the last remaining fae, currently imprisoned by the council. It says, with murder and betrayal at every turn, can Elif, Elif, how do I say her name, and Dalkin learn to rely on one another or will they or will the secrets they carry destroy the people i mean their people and each other sounds interesting the next one is called a dragon bird in the fern this one comes out august 3rd and it's by laura ruckett rickick rackrack rackrick i'm not sure how you say it i love that dragon 
This one says, when an assassin kills Princess Gerald, something like that, older sister Silco, Silco, Silcia, I don't know. It's S C I L L A. Her vengeful ghost is doomed to walk the city of glittering can canals, canals, I mean, tormenting loved ones until the murder is brought to justice. While the elite kingdom mourns Galphias, Galilias, something like something like that, patrol arrives and requests that 17 year old Jara, Jara, something like that, takes her sister's place as his bride to confirm the alliance between the country, their countries. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It's probably going to be like them trying to find out who killed her sister and his fiance. But I love the dragon. So again, that comes out on the third. Oh, I didn't tell you about these ones. On these black so on these black sands is let me see if it tells you who it's being published by by crab apple books and a dragon bird in fern is being the publisher is north star edition editions okay the next one is me slash moth me i thought it was just moth maybe they changed the title but anyways it's by Amber McBride. This one, I literally don't know nothing about. This one I picked because the cover intrigued me. And I picked this a while ago, so I definitely don't remember what this is about. But it comes out on August 17th by... Farewell? Bilwell and Friends? I'm not sure how you say it. But it's this here. It says... A debut YA novel in verse by a Amber McBride. Meath, and in parentheses, Moth, is about a teen girl who is grieving the deaths of her family and a teen boy who crosses her path. Moth has lost her family in an accident. Though she lives with her aunt, she feels alone and uprooted. Until she meets Sandy. Sandy? Sanda? That's S-A-N-I. A boy who also is searching for his roots. If he knows more about where he comes from, maybe he'll be able to understand his ongoing depression. And if Moth can help him feel grounded, then perhaps she too will discover the history she carries in her bones. That's all I'm going to tell you about that one. That sounds very intriguing. The next one is called The Devil Makes Three by Tori Bolivon? Bolivino? I don't know how you say it. Look at that cover. That's very intriguing, too. This one comes out August 10th by Page Street Kids. Let's see. This one says, When Tess and Elliot stumble upon an ancient book hidden in a secret tunnel beneath the school library, they accidentally re release a devil from his book-bound prison, and he'll stop at nothing to stay free. He'll ma manipulate all the all the ink in the library of books to do his bidding. He'll murder in the stacks and he'll bleed into every inch of Tess's life until his freedom is permanent. Forced to work together, Tess and Elliot have to find a way to re-trap the devil before he kills everyone they know and love, including increasingly each other. And compare to what the devil has in store for them. School stress suddenly doesn't seem so bad after all. Definitely I love book, you know, like books like books with about books and people escape from the books. Kind of like, what is it called? The Library of the Undead or something, which I still have to read. Is it the Library of the Undead? I can't remember. But like where the characters come out of the pages and stuff and they're not supposed to come out of cages and the library you know, the people in the library are supposed to capture them and bring them back and stuff. Kind of gives me that feel. But like I said, this comes out on the 10th of August. Then we got The Dead and the Dart by Courtney Gould. G-O-U-L-D. This comes out on the 3rd of August and it's being released. The publisher, whatever you're going to say, are being released from Wednesday Books. But The Dead in the Dark, that one's another creepy title. I think I have the audio book for this one or the ebook. I can't remember. I got one or the other from that, that um, gala. Okay, this one says, 
Imagine Riverdale crossing streams with Stephen King's The Outsider, which I've never watched or read, <laughs> and you'll get a sense of of this crippling supernatural mystery. Gold's debut novel, I mean, debut begins as a snappy paramoral yarn and up stools, up stools, and spools, I mean, into a profound story about the complex interplay between guilt, I mean, grief, guilt, and identity. It says it, her debut book is about the things that lurk in the dark corners, the part of you that can't re remain hidden, and about finding home in places and people you didn't expect. That's oh, okay. I'll just read this one. The dark has been waiting, and it won't stay hidden any longer. That sounds good. That's all we're gonna say about that one. The next one is doesn't come out till I think the end of August, so we still got a little bit to go. Yeah, August thirty first. This is Dark and the Shallow. Shallow Lies by Jenny Myers San, S A I N San, San. I'm not sure how you say that. This is coming out by um, from the publisher Razor Bill. And that's what that looks like. This sounds like it would be the title. Sounds like it'd be like a good book for for um, Halloween time, the fall time. It says a teen girl disappears from her town small town deep in the bayou where magic feaster, feasters feasters festers i mean beneath the surface of the swamp like water rot in this chilling debut supernatural thriller from for fans of natasha preston karen mick manis and rory power la catch the catch something like that Louisiana is the worst place to be if you have something to hide. This tiny, this tiny town where 17-year-old Gray spends her summer is the self-proclaiming psychic capital of the world and the place where El, El, Elroy, Elroy, something like that, Pellerin, Pellerin, something like that, Gray's best friend disappeared six months earlier. Gray can't believe that Elor vanished into, the air, into thin air any more than she can believe that nobody in a town full of psychics know what happened. But as she digs into the night, that or Laura, Elora, Elora, how do you say her name? Went missing. She begins to realize that that everybody in town is hiding something. Her grandmother, Honey, her childhood crush, Heart, and even her late mother, whose secret come, I mean, continues to call to Gray from beyond the grave. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Next one is going to be in one of the book boxes that I ordered from last month. I mean, for next month. So I'm super excited. This one is Mark, Mark of the Wicked by Georgia Bowers. This comes out August 10th from Sworn Reads. Another creepy kind of cover, huh? I'll tell you what this one says it's about. This was a young witch tries to unravel the mystery of who is filming her for dark magic in wait a young witch tries to unravel the mystery of who is framing her what did i say filming <laughs> framing her for dark magic in georgia's bowers creepy ya debut fantasy mark of the wicked magic always if i can talk magic always leaves its mark all her life, Matilda, okay, Matilda the witch, has been told one thing about her magic. You use only when necessary, but Matilda isn't interested in being a good witch. She wants revenge and popularity and to live her life free of consequences, free of, of the scars the dark magic leaves on her face as a reminder of her misdeeds. It says, when a spell goes a wire, a wary, a wire, something like that. And the new boy at school catches her in the app. Matilda thinks her secret might be out. But far from being afraid, Oliver already knows about her magic. And he wants to learn more. As Oliver and Matilda grow closer, bizarre things begin to happen. Animals show up with their throats slashed and old markings craved into their bodies. A young girl dies mysterious and everyone blames Matilda. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I think that's a little too much. I kind of think that might be really spoily. <laughs> the next one is 
by Ashley Winston. It's in my dreams I had a, I mean, I hold a knife. Yeah, in my dreams I hold a knife. And I think I already told you it came out on the third. And it's Source Book Landmark. Another really sound good one for Halloween time. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally clicked it off. A lot of these you're going to notice are creepy books. <laughs> or, or, you know, things like that. So, just be prepared. This one says, Tense, Twisty, and Packed with Shock. A terrific read. And that's uh, Blurt by Riley Sager. 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 How do you say it? It says, Six Friends, One College Reunion, One Unsolved mur Murder. Ten years after grad graduation, Jessica Miller has planned her triumphant return to Southern Elite Dequit University. Down to the envious whispers that are sure to fall in her wake. Everyone is going to see the girls she wants them to see. Confident, beautiful, <coughs> excuse me, indifferent. Not the girl she was when she left campus, but when Heather Shelby murder fractures everything, including the tight bond link of the six friends she'll be, she's been closest to since freshman year. So it sounds like someone can't move on and they don't, and they have to find out who murdered Heather. So I guess, yeah, so they're determined to trap the real killer to make the guilty play, so on and so on. So it sounds like a revenge plot. Sounds good. The next one is by April Henry, Eye of the Forest. This comes out the 24th of August from Henry Holt and Co. Company, whatever you want to say. I told you a lot of them are like creepy books for August. Wow, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, this one says, if I can get my stupid phone to go. After best-selling fantasy writer, after a best-seller selling fantasy writer disappears, only his biggest fan believes he's in danger. Instead of rereading his book, she she must venture into the into the real real world to uncover the truth in this fast-paced mystery by New York Times best-selling author April Henry. For readers of Courtney Summers and Katie, I mean Karen M M M Manis. It says Bridget Bridget is R M Holden's biggest fan. She and her mom sought refuge in Holden's epic fantasy series, Swords and Shadows, where her mom was losing her battle with cancer. When Bridget, Bridget met Holden at one of his rare book signings, she's impressed the author with her, I mean, she impressed the author with her encyclopedic, encyclopedic knowledge of the fantasy world he created. Bridget had been working for him ever since as he attempts to write the final book in his blockbuster sword and sorcery series. But Holden has gone missing, and Bridget is the only person who seems concerned. Can Bridget piece together Holden's cryptic clues and save him before it's too late? Cool. This one, I don't think I told you guys yet. Okay, the next one is The Witch Haven by Sasha Pitt... Peyton Smith. This don't come out until the 31st as well. And this is by Simon and Schuster Books for something. I didn't read the whole thing. But it just looks like that. Alright, you guys, I need to take a sip of my water really quick. My throat's getting dry. I hope you guys are doing the same if you guys are thirsty. Because this is already almost 20 minutes. I think I'm almost done, though. I don't think I have very many left. This is The Last Magician Meets the Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy in this thrilling and atmospheric historical fantasy following a young woman who discovers she has magical powers and is thrust into a battle between witches and wizards. Sounds good. I'm not going to tell you anymore. But it says Simon and Schuster Books for Young Reader. That's who the publishing company is. All right, the next one is... This one, I love this cover so much called The Wild Ones by Navzia, 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 something like that, Azid, oh, I'm totally butchering the author's name, but that's what the cover looks like, isn't it gorgeous, love that, this one comes, sorry, this one comes out August 3rd, and it is by Margaret K. McEldery, 
books, elderly books, something like that. I already showed you the picture. I love that cover. Sorry, my nose is itchy. It says it's a feminist fantasy about a group of teenage girls endow endowed with special powers who must band together to save the life of a boy who saved whose magic saved them all. We are the wild ones and we will not be silenced. We are girls who have tasted the worst that this world can offer. Our story begins with Pahel Pali Pal Paho I'm not sure. P A H E L I who was once betrayed by her mother sold to a man in exchange for a favor when Pali so at that escape she reads she runs headlong into Tarin, a boy who I mean a, bo a boy with ugh, a boy with stars in his eyes. A boy as battered as she was. Okay. So about tossing in a bag of stars to her or something before he disappears and they had to save him for some reason. So but I just love this cover. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh, I hope it's a good book for I can keep that. Because that cover is gorgeous. But like I said, August third, we're almost done. We have the next two books are um, books that are in a series. I'm not going to tell you really anything about them. And then we have one more that isn't part of the series. So we got, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. My throat. We got um, Redemption, book two in the Ray Bearer series. I'm trying to remember if I finished the first one. I know I started it, but you guys know me if you guys have been here for a while. I start books and never finish them. So I don't know if I finished that one. But this is the second one in the Ray Bearer series. It comes out August 17. I'll show you the picture in a second. This one's by Amulet Books. And like I said, it comes out on August 17. If I had the first book with me, I would tell you what it's about. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But I think this is the one where she's supposed to, um, she got like uh, her mom or whatever the lady is, um, like curses her or makes her um where she has to listen to her and she's supposed to kill like the prince or something like that i'm thinking ray bearer was that one i could be wrong but that's by jordan Afuki? Afuko? Afuko? i don't know how you say her last name but i love this cover but like i said this comes out on the 17th then we have rise up from the ashes i forget the name of the first book Let me see if it tells you. I can't remember what it's called. And I read the book last. I read the book. I think this year or sometime. Oh, Set Fire to the Gods. That's the first one. And I don't remember too much. It's been a while. But it's from Sarah Rashi, Rachi and Kristen Simmons. I'll show you the cover in a minute. This comes out on the 10. From... Blazer and Bray. I'll tell you what the first one says. I'll show you the first the cover of the first one on here. This is the first one. I'll show you the other cover in a minute because I don't think I showed it to you guys. But I'll read to you what the first one says. It says Ashes descended descent descended from a long line of gladiators and she is Oh the gladiator book. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Ash and Ma Maddox. I think I gave this one like a four, 4.5 4 star. I remember I really liked Maddox, but it took me a while to like Ash. But they're gladiators. And, you know, fighting and everything goes on. So you guys know what a gladiator is, I'm sure. And then Maddox, she's a, Ash, which is a girl, she's in a long line of gladiators. But Maddox grew up on the street. And he, he's pretending like he's, like he has magic and stuff. It's not a spoiler because it tells you. It pretend, he pretends like he has magic, but he really doesn't. So that's his secret. He's hiding that from other people. But it says, Avatar, the last airbender, meets Gladiator in the first book in this epic fantasy duology in which two warriors must decide where their loyalty lies in an ancient war between immort immortals Threaten, threatens humanity. Mortal threatens humanity. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but 
that's the first one. I'll show you. Did I tell you who the... No, I forgot if I told you guys. I think I already told... Yeah, I did tell you guys who the... Um, who the publisher is. I think I like the, the first cover better. I like this color, but I think I like the... Okay, but I don't like, like, the design as much. But this still looks good. And it's only a duology, so I'll get that next month and I'll finish it up. Or I'll get it in September. I'm not sure yet. And the last one, I think, is going to be also in a book box. If I get this book box, I'm not sure yet. But it's A Lesson a lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. I'll show it to you first this time so I don't forget. This one is from... Oh, I already told you. <laughs> this one comes out the 3rd of August. And it's coming from Del Court, Della Court, something like that, Del Court Press. I just love that cover. I don't know what it is about that cover, but I like it. It says, within 10 years of its founding, there were five violent deaths. Sometimes you can still smell blood on the air. A dark, twisty thriller about a century-old ivy-covered boarding school haunted by its history of witchcraft and two girls, <clears throat> excuse me, dangerously close to digging, digging up the past. The dangerous romance and the atmospheric settings mark, makes it a perfect read for fans of dark academic, academic, academia. Yeah. The history of Dar Dalloway School lies in the bones. It was built on five violent deaths in the first 10 years of its existence. Sometimes you could still smell the blood on the, on the air. It wasn't until Felicity enrolled that she fell in love with the dark, and now she's back to finish her senior year after the tragic death of her girlfriend. So she even has her own room in Godwin's house, the exclusive dormitory rumored to be haunted by the spirits of the five Dalloway I mean, students who died there. Girls, some say, were witches. That's what I'm going to tell you. This sounds really good. This comes out, like I said, August 3rd. Yeah, it really, really, really looks good. And there's the picture again. And that is it. I'm sorry this was kind of long, but there's a lot of books to talk about. A lot of books. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said at the beginning, let me know what your most anticipated books are. If there's any books here that I talked about that have you interested and if you didn't already hear about them. And that is it. I will let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be doing another one at the end of August. Beginning of, I might actually, the one for September might be a little late or a little early, depending on when I film it, because we're going on vacation around this time next month. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you guys know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. And I already told you the rest of the stuff at the beginning. You know, you know how the drill goes. Yeah, happy reading, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the books that you're reading. I hope if that the books that you've been anticipating that's out now that you've read have met your expectations. Let me know down below also what one book you already read this year that met your expectations or even went past the expectations or vice versa one that you were really anticipating and you couldn't and it you did not like it or you didn't like it as much as you thought because my the one that um really really surprised me was um gosh now i forgot the name of the book was um the taken of jake levinston I thought I was going to like it, but oh my gosh, was it so good. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to tell you another one. I freaking loved, and I know a lot, this is an unpopular opinion, but I freaking loved Riley Sager's new book, Survive the Night. Definitely, definitely loved it. I know a lot of people hated it or thought it was just okay. Me, I freaking loved it. My favorite book of his. Um book that I anticipated that didn't meet my expectations well I started reading last month Jay's gay agenda and I DNF'd it because of one of the topics I mean one of the you know 
tropes, whatever you want to say, I did not like. And I looked at the end to see if I would, like, if I thought that the person, you know, did enough grov groveling. And I was like, to me, no. Maybe to other people, but to me, no. I did not think this person groveled enough. So, yeah. So, that was my disappointment. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for being freaking awesome. I love you guys. And until next time, happy reading.